Hello everyone and welcome to the NXL 2024 Lone Star Major layout breakdown, first impressions, whatever you want to call it. I want to give a quick shout out to Pro Edge Paintball for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to them for their support. Be sure to uh, support those that support the channel. Uh, there's a link down in the description down below and a code so you can get some discounts on some sweet Pro Edge gear. So thank you again to Pro Edge for sponsoring this. So let's, let's look at the middle. So if you haven't checked out the other videos, uh, there's another one for the uh, snake side, Dorito side, and also some possible bounce shots. Uh, so if you haven't seen those, remember that all of these shots are shots that they have back on you as well. So these aren't guaranteed, I'm gonna go here and instantly get this elimination. That's not the way that this works. This, this is just kind of first impressions on how is it that we could maybe play the layout. I kind of feel like there's gonna be people that are delaying and kind of doubling up this back center, probably filtering up into the uh, the tower or diving out. The reason why I say this, you can see I only did the back center for this page. There's a lot of lanes. Uh, so just from this one right here, you can shoot straight up the middle. So if someone's trying to dive up and across, you can catch them that way. If they're trying to dive out into this tower, you can shoot through and try to catch them there. If they're trying to go deep, you can shoot the deep shot. Or um, you can also, if they're already in the snake and they're maybe are, are a team that is known for being quick or maybe you've scouted them and you know that they just want to round through here you can start throwing paint through there um you do have this kind of thread the needle shot or if you drop it i th it might drop about here but the one that i think you'll see people do as well is if you just take a step off the box it's a little dangerous but these bricks are going to block you out a little bit you can shoot straight into the snake and shoot right at the entrance of the snake and know did they make it or not if they didn't, you can go right up into the Aztec, and then now you're able to um, shoot across into there and um, deny that move. You also have the Dorito side shots, and I put this dash line just because you can shoot up over the top. So if there's guys that are trying to delay and you want to throw some paint through there, and maybe you're not going wide, like you're showing a wide move, but uh, you're actually just trying to bait them, it wouldn't be bad. You can throw some paint through the middle and maybe catch someone floating back here. But this Dorito side, you are able to, I think you have to sit back a little bit over the top of the, uh, the edge of the brick. You can drop right into this tower shooting into the can uh, shooting into a deep shot for the um, the Dorito one and then if they are into the Doritos this home can stay and shoot into these gaps um, but just like we have on the snake side the Dorito side if you take a step out you can shoot right into into here so maybe you're delaying and then going up into this tower or delaying and then diving out um, I, I think that you're going to see, you know, people doubling it, maybe even floating back here, and then they can decide if they need to stay or not. But this is what's going to make it difficult on this field. I think that if you're able to get these eliminations, being able to eliminate one or two bodies, whatever side is the weak side is going to be the one that people can power through. Again, maybe we get to the field and I'm, I'm wrong, but from what I'm seeing here, I feel like the if it's gonna be a quick or slow game is gonna de de uh, depend, if I can get my words out, on how many eliminations are happening off the break. Because once that happens, if everyone gets their five alive, there's a lot of open gaps. So it's gonna become uh, kind of a stalemate uh, until you start to get kind of sneaky. So uh, moving up into the middle, again, we're gonna go from the back up to the front. We'll start in this tower. So the tower is able to shoot into these gaps. So the tower can shoot through the Dorito three to four. Um, they can also shoot between the one and two. And of course they can shoot their mirror, but it's gonna be kind of blind. So uh, that's only if they're kind of sticking out or you wanna throw something there to maybe throw them off. Uh, these shots I don't think are gonna be as great. This one being the better one, but going into the snake one, they might still be able to get past here. And maybe if you stand up and you shoot down, um, but if you know that they're diving into the snake and you want to throw some paint there and then throw it here if they're stuck in this snake too, um, it might be enough to maybe slow them down. Um, uh, but I still think... I still think that the way that you're gonna uh, stop the snake is having another snake. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of good drop shots, but maybe we get out to the field and see that. Uh, so let's look at this Aztec. So this one is actually better to shoot into the, the Dorito side, um, just because you can shoot into more gaps. Especially if they're at this Dorito too, trying to move from a mini into here, 
they, they can't really stand up as tall, so they have to stay low, but you can just be pounding paint through here. And I think that's gonna be something that will maybe at least slow them down until someone can come along to, uh, to assist you, maybe move up into the middle, or maybe your Dorito side can move down. Um, this, this little W I don't think is gonna be helpful. Um, yes, it does have these two gaps, but you're just kind of a sitting duck. If they get into the snake, you're, you're shooting heads up and not in a, a great spot. Yes, you do have a wrap shot uh, going into this Aztec and into the tower, but I just don't really see it being super useful. Maybe you come here just as something different, but I don't know that that's gonna be a super useful bunker. So uh, between these two, uh, if someone's able to look one way, because you do have some shots, I mean, again, you have those shots going across, you can sort of stand up. Because it's an Aztec, there's only so much you can stand up with, uh, but you can sort of shoot down. So if they get into this Snake 3, that could be something that you could at least try to slow them down with. We'll have to see this weekend, how low do you have to get to get out of the way of the paint, even if they're shooting through there. Um, this tower might have a better shot because you can stand up and point your gun above your head and shoot that weird, uh, see Jason Edwards do it, but you can shoot down more um, into, into the snake. Uh, once we get actually into the middle structure, uh, I, I think this middle will be good, but make sure that you watch the bounce shot video because I think it's going to make it pretty difficult to live in. Um, but there's a lot that you can do in here. So you can get kind of sneaky. There's some bigger bunkers. Uh, so you can try to do some stuff. Um, once you're actually in this brick, I don't know that it's going to be best to stay there just because yes, you can shoot that gap and that gap, but okay. Like that, you can do that from other bunkers as well. I don't really see this being super, super useful to like hold a gap unless they're not in uh, uh, the can. But even then, let's just talk about it. This wing, you can sit there and shoot heads up and be pounding paint through here and they will not be able to get across. They'd have to come up and then try to dive across. But even then, you can still keep shooting so they can't get wide. So then your Doritos can now wrap harder. Um, and from here, they can shoot into a lot of those gaps. So let's say somehow, maybe you get a, a barrel break or something, they dive from the can into the, uh, into the Dorito one that wing is able to shoot into that gap now. And then if they move into there, okay, well you back up a little bit and shoot into this gap. And if they move into here, you back up and shoot into this gap. So you're able to see these moves and be a thorn in their side. You do have a shot across into the snake, but again, how well that will be, uh, is, is yet to be seen. Uh, so the snake side of the brick, yes, you can shoot through here, but I don't know. I just don't know if this brick is going to be useful to stay there to do anything. Uh, I think you're going to have to decide where is it that I need to help, and then you can go from there. Uh, so getting up into the snake side wing, this is one that might, it, it's tough because it's not a super tall bunker, but it might be enough that because you're closer, you can kind of skim a little bit more. I, I don't know. I think you could maybe do some damage, or if they haven't gotten into the snake, getting here would be fantastic just because you can shoot into this gap and stop them from going into uh, that wide spot. Um, but the inside shot, I'm sorry, the Dorito side shot, you have a lot of those same shots going into those gaps. The only issue is that you can't stop them from coming from this can or from the home over. Uh, but if you needed to help, you can switch, but just know that someone needs to be watching the snake because once they get over into here, you're getting shot in the back. Um, same thing with, uh, with either wing, really. Once they're into your snake, they shoot you in the back and you're done. Um, so that is my first impressions of the uh, the middle. Thanks again to ProEdge for sponsoring this video. Uh, I will see you guys at the event. Tell me what you think in the comments down below of how you think it'll play and maybe what side is stronger. Do you like the middle? Do you not like the middle? And I'll see you in the next video. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.